Okay, we want to find the exact value of these two and we have some decimals here. Now, when we're looking at it, it may not look like we can apply a half angle formula because it's not in a form that we're familiar with. So I want to change the decimal into a fraction because then that might allow me to better see how to use the half angle formula. So that's what I'll do. I want to change 22.5 into a fraction. Now 22.5 would be 22 and 5 tenths. Now the 5 tenths can be changed into uh, 1 half. We can change this into an improper fraction. We multiply these 44 plus 1, that's 45 over 2. So that's going to be the fraction I'm going to put on the inside. I want 45 over 2. Because it's written in this form, now I can see more clearly what it is I need to use for my theta. If I look at the, the formula, the half angle formula for sine, that's this one here, 1 minus cosine theta all over 2. Now, when I have sine 45 over 2, the top number, that's my theta. So over here, whatever theta is on top above the 2, that's the same one that goes inside here. I don't want to use the divide by 2, I just want to use the theta part only. So the top part is a 45, that's what I'm going to put inside here. Now, I, I, for as far as the sine is concerned, I know that 22.5, the original angle, is already in the first quadrant, so I don't need the right plus or minus, so I already know that it's going to be the positive version here. So I'm going to do 1 minus cosine 45 divided by 2. Okay, so now that I have uh, this, I need to put in the exact value for cosine 45. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have 1 minus square root of 2 over 2, and all that's going to be divided by 2. So this cosine 45, that's again the value from the table we had in the previous section. I want to still keep simplifying this. I want to get rid of the double fraction. So I want to get some common denominators on the inside there. So when I do, I get, uh, I'll multiply this one by 2 over 2. So I'll get 2 minus radical 2. All that's going to be over 2. And then I still have this divided by 2 on the bottom. I need to, again, clean that up. So I'm going to take the top fraction and multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom one. That would be 2 over 1. So when I flip it, it's going to be uh, 1 over 2. And so then when I multiply it more, I get 2 minus radical 2. All that's going to be over uh, 4. But I can apply the square root in the top and the square root in the bottom separately. So if I apply that separately, then we'll get the final answer, which is going to be 2 minus radical 2 on top. And then because I've already applied the square root of 4, if I square root the 4 on the bottom, that becomes a 2. So therefore, that 2 is going to be outside the radical now. So I have one radical on top, and I have this one. The radical's gone because I applied that. So now that I have that one complete, I'm ready to write down my exact value. My exact value is going to be this one right here. And the 2 is going to be uh, outside of the radical. So now that we've taken a look at the first one, let's now take a look at tangent 22.5. Okay, tangent 22.5. We know we can use the same fraction as before. That's still going to be 45 over 2. So we're still going to start by, by doing that. We want to use the improper fraction that we found earlier. This formula for tangent theta over 2, that's equal to sine theta over 1 plus cosine theta. Uh, again, the 45 is going to be what I, what I have for theta, so I have tangent 45 over 2 is going to equal sine 45 over 1 plus cosine 45. I'm putting 45 in for both. Again, I'm not using the 2 in the bottom. The formula says if you have a 2 in the bottom, then it, on this side of the formula, you're only going to use theta. Whatever was on top of that fraction, that's what we're using. That's why it's just 45 only for each of those. You want to put the value in from your uh, table into each of those. So we're, we're going to get square root of 2 over 2. That's the exact value for sine 45 on the bottom. 1 plus square root of 2 over 2. That's also the value for cosine 45 is radical 2 over 2. We don't want to leave it in this form. We want to combine this together with uh, common denominators on the bottom. So I'll multiply this by 2 over 2. You'll get 2 plus radical 2, all that over uh, 2. And then we're going to take the top fraction and multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom one. So then we'll get 2 over 2 plus radical 2. That's going to cancel out the, the 2's and we end up getting radical 2 over 
2 plus radical 2. Now again, this form right here, we have a radical that's in the bottom, so we want to rationalize that. So again, depending on what teacher you have or what homework grading system online that you're using, some of that software might require you to do a little bit more with that. So I'm going to do more and I'm going to rationalize this to get the most simplified answer. And I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2 minus radical 2. And I'll do that across the top, across the bottom. Now across the top, we're going to multiply radical 2 times both of these. So we're going to do 2 times radical 2 and we get that. Again, we're not allowed to multiply the 2 inside and make it radical 4. That 2 has to be on the outside. And next, we're going to do radical 2 times radical 2. That's radical 4. That's going to turn into a 2. Across the bottom, we're going to multiply that. You're going to get 4. You get minus 2 radical 2 plus 2. That's going to cancel. And then you get minus radical 2 times radical 2. We already said was equal to uh, 2. Now keep on going with this. 2 radical 2 minus 2 on the bottom. 4 minus 2 is also equal to 2. However, what you want to do now is break up each of these and we'll write it as um, reduce both of those by 2. You would get radical 2 minus 1. We'll divide the first one by 2 and the second one you'll divide by 2. So therefore, this here would be the exact answer for tangent 22.5 which is also the same as tangent 45 over 2.